Hello friends, good evening. This is Bhupati. This is part 3 of the video series link. In this video, we are going to learn about group by operator. Before we write any complex queries, let us try to understand how this group by works. Actually, it returns the sequence of I grouping which contains a key that you are trying to group and its corresponding rows or values. Now, let us go to the studio and look how it works with a simple link you query. Now I am going to read invoice data. I will show the invoice data. This is sheet 2 and I want to group this data by depart by the column name department which contains two department IT and production. Okay, this is the two department we have. Now I will write the link you query going to use assign activity. What is our uh, data table here? DT invoice data dot as enumerable. So now we have all the extension methods of link you access dot group by. I request you to visit part one of the link video series. I have explained why we are using as enumerable and about the extension methods of link queue. A group by function of a is just a range variable and this have access to all rows of this data table dt underscore invoice data a of department we are trying to group department okay now the main thing is you need to understand what actually this group by operator returns I just cut it now. We'll take an intelligence group by. You can see here. I will zoom it and show you. It is having eight overload methods. You can see it is returning i enumerable of i grouping, and this i grouping contains key that is the key on which you are trying to group and its corresponding data rows. This is what this group by operator returns that is i enumerable of i grouping so in the assign activity on the left hand side the variable type should be of this type otherwise it will throw error okay now what i will click on okay it is throwing uh, what i have copy paste i'll just copy paste okay now i will click on okay now we need to use the data type what data type is i will use group elements i have already used that so yeah just used it but i will delete it and uh, reassign the variable type so you can know group elements Close for type system dot collections dot generate dot i enumerable. So it was returning i enumerable of i grouping. Now we need to use system dot link you dot i grouping. So it was returning in the form of key and value. Okay. So we have used here the form of system dot object and system dot data dot data row. Okay. Now, I am going to use for each loop, for each item in grouped elements, okay, log message, okay, before that one more thing we need to take care of that is what should be this type that is this type argument must be of type system dot link you dot i grouping system dot object comma system dot data dot data row because we already saw it is returning i grouping with key and its corresponding values oh, item dot key 
Now let us check what actually contains item dot key. Department name. Dot two string. So now you got it. This item contains the key that we are trying to group. Here in our case, the key is department name. Now I will run. So only two values must be there, IT and then production. Okay, you can see here output department name IT, department name production because we are trying to group the department name. Now I want to know the values of this particular particular value of this particular key that is item or production. So what can we do? We can use another for each. Now here we put values here item. Now you got the point in first for each loop this item contains the key of the this grouped elements and in the here in the second for each we are trying to get the corresponding row values of particular key. We need to make this as type argument system dot data dot data row. Now log message enter I want to know the product name of production department. If we put values of this bracket, we will have access to the column name products dot to string. Okay, now if I run means we will come to know the department name and their corresponding products. Let me open invoice data. You can see we have three IT department name account is seven and the production is six and the corresponding products it will display in the log message. Let us check it out. I'll run. Okay, now we can check the log message. So in production department, we have six products and in IT department, we have six products. Now we will open the invoice data and check. can cross check so department name IT operating system antivirus software maintenance software Wi-Fi activation and then professional services waste management services IT support so we got the all the products under IT department and for production department you have installation on site warranty package hardware management replacement check motherboard will check hardware management so we got all the products under production department correctly so this is how group by operator works so we can try out and in the next video we will see with another link query if you like this video please subscribe and support our channel thank you friends